going on YouTube? It's your boy, Kurt S7. Today, lads, I'm here to review the game United against Swansea. And uh, to be honest, I wasn't even going to make this review. I thought, you know what? If you see my uh, video yesterday, a message to Ed Woodward, you would know how pissed off I was. And blatantly, it wasn't even going to make a, a review about this game. I thought <laughs> there was no need. But uh, you know what? I slept on it, lads. Woke up this morning, watched the whole game again, 90 minutes, and uh, still got the same opinions. Don't get me wrong, they haven't changed one bit. But uh, things are clearer in my mind now. And, uh, you know, let's talk about the game. Um, wow, man. <laughs> Disappointment is going to be the one major word to describe that game. Just disappointment, you know. Last season, I hate doing this. I don't want to do it, but I just feel, I, I have to do it. I have to compare this time last season when Moyes was in charge against Swansea. Mate, it was the total opposite. Mate, last season, we got outplayed by Swansea. Clearly, Swansea dominated, but we pounced and we smashed Swansea 4-1. But uh, this was the exact opposite, man. We were the team that fucking dominated this game. We bossed it, but, mate, just lacked quality in the final third. Now, when I say quality, I don't mean players. I mean chances, you know, chances created in the final third. It's like we got the ball, we dominated, we pass it sideways, we pass it back, you know. Just, we don't create any, there's no, um, how can I say it? Like, I was watching Arsenal. Again, I don't like using other teams as, as an example, but, mate, when Ramsey got the ball, he'll pass it to Sanchez. And when he got it out wide, they look like they're going to score every single time they got the ball. When we got the ball, we don't look like we're even going to pass forward, let alone freaking uh, make an opportunity to score. And, man, it was evident throughout the whole game. The only shining light we had of scoring yesterday was when uh, Jesse Lingard got injured, unfortunately, and Adnan came on. When Adnan Yanezé came on, he was just brilliant. He was our only attacking option. He seemed like the only player that wanted to freaking make something of this game. And uh, funnily enough, when he came on, you know, uh, in the second half, he got the corner, which led to our goal. But in saying that, lads, Swansea uh, got the uh, opener in the first half by Lee. And he had all the freaking time in the world to, uh, mate, just line one up and have a shot. Uh, have a shot. Have a crack. And uh, went past the hair. But, mate, I'll tell you now, mate. The midfielders, Darren Fletcher, Ander Herrera, Aaron, um, Ander Herrera, his debut, Tyler Blackett, you can excuse those two, you know, but they did get a bit of a welcome message to the Premier League yesterday. Um, mate, between our defence, our midfielders, just not good enough. I know, Darren Fletcher, fan favourite, I love you, Darren Fletcher, I really do, mate, but honestly, mate, you're just the squad player at best. You know, I honestly don't really want to be going into these uh, big games, so to speak, against City and uh, Chelsea, where... You know, Darren Fletcher's going to be up against Cesc Fabregas and Yaya Toure and Oscars and David Silvers. He's just not quite, you know, his best years are behind him, let's be honest, lads. Like I said yesterday, we need freaking signings. But uh, enough of that. About the game yesterday. Mate, went down 1-0. We came back into it in the second half. And uh, when Rooney scored the over at Zizza, you thought, right, that's it now, lads. The crowd was up for it. Let's go. Let's go push on. No, not just that. We sat back and we just passed it sideways a bit more and we passed it back a bit more and nothing was happening. We just created no chances whatsoever. And uh, we bring Nani on for Hernandez. Hernandez was, uh, you know, let's be honest, he was a bit woeful, a bit useless, you know, did, did nothing really. But he wasn't the only one. I ain't, I ain't making no excuses for Hernandez. Thought Juan Mata was average. Obviously, Darren Fletcher was average. Uh, Nani, when he came on, was... Uh... When you come on the bench, mate, you want to be making an impact. Even though he didn't play bad, he didn't make an impact. So, yeah, you can say Nani was freaking average as well. Uh, Ashley Young... Definitely average. Uh, you know, he did show leadership on the pitch. I really liked that about him. Man, he gave it all. He tracked back. He had a good game. Um, just average going forward. He was more worried about the defensive duties than going forward. And uh, when you're playing our Old Trafford son, you want to be making the opposition shit themselves, not you worried about them. So definitely Ashley Young, average. And Herrera was A-OK. -okay. Like I said, his debut. Smalling, Jones, average at best. You know... Tyler Blackett, I thought he was he was the shining light in defense. Um, he looked really, really, really good on the ball. Tyler Blackett, he's going to be some player. But in saying that, lads, mate, he's a freaking, he's, he's his debut. You know, how's he going to go against teams 
you know, in the Premier League, you know, the, the top teams in the Premier League, who knows, you know? We need some experience. We got rid of Giggs, Evra, Ferdinand, Vidic for fuck's sakes, and we've replaced them with no experience. We've replaced them with kids in Andy Herrera and Luke Shaw. That's a joke, honestly, it's a fucking joke. But uh, I could be sitting here talking about this game for days. Uh, mate, second half, we've <laughs> gone a bit off track here, but second half, um, mate, a lot of people were bringing on... Uh, um, a lot of people bagging Fellaini because he cost us the second goal. But I've watched that second goal now probably about 10 times this morning. And uh, unfortunately, if you have a look at Tyler Blackett, he was the one man marking Sigurdsson. Have a look at that goal again. Going into the box, Tyler Blackett mate, was within arm's length of Sigurdsson looking at him, man marking him. But unfortunately, Tyler Blackett ball watching when that ball came across. And unlucky because, mate, Wayne Routledge, he was not meant to cut that back whatsoever. He was having a shot, mate, missprayed it like you wouldn't believe. Fell to Sigurdsson and he put it home. Swansea 2-1 ahead. Mate, that's the, one of the luckiest goals you'll see all season. But in saying that, lads, we still had time to chase the game. We still had time to go and get a winner. But unfortunately, lads, mate, we got the ball. Mate, we weren't doing nothing, we? We weren't penetrating. We weren't, mate, we weren't going, going forward. We were just shit. Simple as that. You know, the final third, we just weren't good enough. Did not create enough chances whatsoever. And uh, if I had to give a man of the match, I would have to give... Jeez, could you really give a man of the match yesterday's performance? Mate, flip a coin between Wayne Rooney and Ashley Young. They both worked hard. But in saying that, lads, it was just frustrating. Frustrating. But uh, I'm still optimistic about top four, lads. And yes, I say top four, not the title, because I am being fucking realistic. Um, I'm still optimistic that we can get some signings. Definitely need a defender, definitely need some midfielders, and definitely need some attacking options going forward. Whether we get Quadrado, Di Maria, we need something going forward. We need someone to grab the game, but a scruff of the fucking neck in the fucking midfield and bossing it, mate, and show some leadership out there. But that's what we lack, some leadership. But uh, anyways, lads, that's my review. That's my take on United's opening loss to Swansea at Old Trafford. But uh, anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis 7 Make sure you drop a like, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you come check us out on this 7 show, guys, this Thursday night. Get your questions for that show in the, in the uh, comments down below, lads. But until then, lads, take care and peace.